evening and welcome to TL Physics. My name is Sarah and today I'm going to talk about elastic strain energy. Now in my previous video I spoke about Hooke's law. Okay. And I'm going to actually make a point about something about the graph. Now with graphs, the gradient is important, as is the area. Now this K is from the gradient of that line. Now the area, let's have a look at it. The area under this graph is the extension times by the force divided by 2, or a half Fx. But wait a minute, we've seen the force times distance before. Work done is force times the distance travelled. And that force and that distance, the extension, are in the same direction. Which means the area under this graph is energy. I'm going to replace this F with the actual formula for Hooke's Law. So that's Kx times x half kx squared. So this is the energy that is stored in elastic when you stretch it, and that makes sense. If I get a string or a, a spring and I spring it out, and then I let it go, it goes back to its original position. It's, it gets pinned right back. There must be an energy transform going on here. When I stretch my jumper, it pings back. There's no GPE, it hasn't changed height, so it must be another energy transfer. And this is elastic strain energy. The elastic strain energy I've got in here, converted into kinetic energy there. And that is elastic strain energy.